Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3 and our Generation 3 Dawn Moon heiress Demeter, who is getting a little bit of a rest after a very, oh, a very itchy night, yes! And we have finally gotten to the point where we can leave the den almost, almost there. You guys, this is wonderful news because our den is actually severely infested with fleas. So the fact that the puppies are almost ready to go is so wonderful. Oh my gosh, we'll be able to make it. I'm so relieved. The only thing that is actually concerning me a little bit about now is the fact that the um, Forest Cliffs pack has gotten really strong and they are pushing in on all sides lately. We're going to have to do a little bit of territory expanding today because look at this. This is chaos. This is really bad. We, we basically only have a tiny little bit of territory. And everybody else is really just going absolutely bonkers. So we're going to try to go ahead and uh, make sure that we don't have our pups get eaten by stranger wolves. And hopefully get them up to the point where they are ready to leave for the summer hunting ground very soon. Because we're at 70% fleas right now. Yeah, not good. We just need little Lark to hopefully put on the weight that we really need him to have. <laughs> so that we can go ahead and get out of here. All right, Clover's getting some breakfast, filling herself up. Wonderful, wonderful. Lark, do you want to go ahead and eat? No, he just wants to play. He's just always eager to play and explore and never really hungry enough for my taste personally. All right, in you go, you guys. Okay, in you go, you guys. Stranger wolf attack, stranger wolf attack. Lark, seriously, get in there this time. He never wants to stay in there. <gasps> Here they are. All right, who is this? Who is this and what makes you think? The Prospect Peak Wolves? Oh my gosh, we're stopped by fleas. <gasps> That's terrible. The fleas have gotten so bad. You guys, we, we could have ended up losing one of our puppies just because we had a flea infestation. I am not feeling that. I'm absolutely not feeling that. Ayasin, come on. Like, the fleas are getting so bad we can hardly finish up our hunts. The puppies are fed. We're going to go ahead and we're actually going to expand some of our territory. Uh, like, I think we might have to go across the way and maybe push the Prospect Peaks out of the way. Like, where to go first? There's just trouble in all directions. I think we're going to go south because Prospect Peak normally doesn't mess with us. Let's actually go west. Ah, okay, let's go west. Because I think there's probably going to be some good hunting. Or east, excuse me. Not west. I think there's going to be some good hunting, I hope, to the east. And I really don't want Prospect Peak Stranger Wolves around the place. That's for sure. Alright, snowshoe here. Going the wrong way for that one. And this one's probably long gone, but we'll follow it just in case. But alright, so let's go see if we can find some food for both Demeter and her mate also just now. All right, the snowshoe hair got eaten by a hawk. Ugh. But we'll see if we can find, oh, wait, 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 what's that? Is that a rabbit? Yes! Yay, okay. We'll grab this bunny and we'll go ahead and have a little bit of a breakfast of it. That actually makes the 69th rabbit. We'll offer it to Ayasin, cause why not? Wait, back off, back off little coyote. Ayasin's, there we go, he's so itchy too. Oh, all right, do we see any mama deer standing out here? Here, yes, oh my gosh, there is a mother deer standing out and about. No, that's a rock. I literally thought this rock was a mother deer <laughs> because it looks like a deer like with her head down feeding. Um, that's not the case at all. That's kind of embarrassing. But we're going to continue out to the east because at least this is a big, open, expansive area. Easy to see where the grass clumps are. Easy to see if you have any mother deer that are out. Easy to see the rabbits. And this is our 70th rabbit. We only need 30 more and we will be able to achieve our big mission. Oh, and actually having run into a Prospect Peak Stranger Wolf was a good thing because now we have we have had all the encounters that Ayasin needs for his collar quest for the Junction Butte pack, AKA the Forest Cliffs pack and for the Prospect Peak pack. So now all we're really doing, who's that? Is that just a mule deer? Okay, oh, look, it's a mom. 
Excellent! Ayasin's excited, but she's standing her ground. All right. Let's go ahead and I'll pee on a couple things. So we- oh, we're itching. Ugh. Okay, we might have to hunt that mule deer, but let's make sure she's actually a mother. Yeah, there we go. Stand in her ground. Let's do a quick search of the grass in the area. Nothing there. There's a rabbit up ahead. Wouldn't mind eating that. Is there a foal here? No. All right, let's grab this rabbit and then we'll turn around and look for more foals. 71. What the heck? We're going to complete this life quest and it feels awesome. Do we want to just do a quick bit of hunting right here? Or when have you weakened by chance? What about you? You're a little slower. Not really, but you know what? We'll just do this hunt real quick. Because I Oh no! Oh my gosh, we're itchy! We're so itchy, you guys! Ayasin, come on! We already got her, like, really weak. Being so itchy is actually a severe problem when it comes to trying to do this hunt. Oh my gosh. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna try to, like, memorialize this moment as remembering we were exceptionally itchy. Alright, come on, Ayasin. No! Itchy, itchy, itchy! <laughs> I thought we had a bad flea problem with Basil having to leave his den so early, but this is just terrible. Alright, there we go. Come on. Come on, you two. Oh, you've got her. Just a little bit more, and then you guys will fill your stomachs. And we'll bring some back to the pups. Come on. There. Phew! Alright. Ayasin's getting his food. Not a fawn to bring back, but the meat chunks aren't the worst either. And really, I just want to get us away from, like, being stuck at a flea-ridden den. <laughs> That's not ideal. Alright. I know, Ayasin. He's so itchy! <laughs> okay, let's see a little bit more. Oh, we t tore off so many meat chunks. That's why. All right, Ayasin, are you full? Okay, he's totally full, so we'll head back home? No, we'll mark these spots, and then we'll head back home. And, yeah, Clover is nearly there. Lark is almost there, so we're waiting on a little Lark to hopefully put on a bit more food. And napping with him so that he'll grow is a good way to do that. But we also haven't been really strengthening our territory. <laughs> so that's starting to be a little bit more of a problem, too. All right, good job, you guys. And then we'll go just a bit more. Well, that's 41%, but you know what? Well, we're already here. Might as well go ahead and run up here. Also, we're mostly feeding on mule deer, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough to sustain our pups all the way through to summer. So I'm debating maybe moving our pups more towards these cliff sides, like trying to find a rendezvous site over here instead. I think this would be a good spot to try to raise them because then we have the forest to maybe give us some moose calves or some moose. And then we can push away some of the prospect peak spots and get away from the Junction Butte pack because they're definitely getting a little too strong for my my preference. Huh. All right, another day of survival. So far, well accomplished. We'll head back to the kids. <laughs> Demeter's willing to be playful. I think coming over here would be fun. Demeter is ready to be super playful. Just by chance, do we see any foals in any of these grasses? Maybe, maybe. Where'd the deer that was right here go? She's gone! Alright, so she must not have been a mom. Alright, well we'll carry on. hard to find the foals even when we can see every single spot where the grass is. Let's rush back home. All right, you guys. Also, rabbits. Maybe we'll just end up gathering so many rabbits. Okay, I hear you. 
Mama, but I don't see you. There's apparently a mother deer in the vicinity. Do I smell anyone? Oh, there! Okay, so she's like right there. All right, we'll search for fawns just in case. I don't even want to think about how bad the fleas are probably getting. Come on, come on. Over here, there's a bunny. Maybe we'd be better off taking the bunny back? Over here? See, here's the mother again. Nothing there. Where did you leave your child? I don't blame her for not wanting us to find out. All right, all right. Just about ready to give up. We'll search one last spot. Did she move towards any of us? No? And no. Ah! Way back here? Bah! All right. We'll go ahead and head home. She lucked out, doesn't need to worry about her baby. And then there's the bison. We're gonna give them their own space. And here's another, like, potential, like, food source. All right, we're just gonna get back and we're just gonna put our focus on trying to get out of the flea den. Because <laughs> we really, really, really want to grow from there. Almost back to our puppies. And then we'll go out to the east to get away from the Junction Butte Pack. They are pretty ferocious. They're not quite as murderous as some of the packs, like the Abyss Lake Pack definitely was. Oh, we're so itchy. They're not quite as murderous as that, but they're definitely not laid back. And they have made several attempts and incursions on our territory. They're extremely territorial. I think out of all of the wolf packs, consistently the Junction Butte pack has become the most territorial, whereas the Crescent Lake pack is the most confrontational. And the Prospect Peak pack is the pack that you don't expect to try to come for your puppies, but occasionally they do. I almost feel like they're more like pup nappers, which isn't really what would happen, but it would make a very good story. And if you guys aren't here for the roleplay, I'm not sure why you're here. But I do hope you're having a good time. Oh, good job, Clover! Yes, Clover is now 15 pounds. Let's go ahead and have a little nap with Lark right next to us. Hopefully, he will think about putting on the weight whilst we rest. We're almost there, almost there. Let's try to get to the summer hunting grounds today. And then hopefully we won't lose too much territory and we can recover from that. Because we'll just sleep through the night to encourage Lark to eat more. All right, come on, kids. There's a little bit more food. I'll even regurgitate some for old time's sake. And once all of your bellies are full, we'll go ahead and sleep because Demeter really prefers to actually uh, hunt during the day. Imagine that, being a Dawn Moon Pack member. All right, Lark, did you eat? He did. Hare's eating, Clover's eating. Good, good, good. The fleas are at 75%. <gasps> We're almost there! Lark, you've almost done it, buddy! Are we really losing a lot of territory? Oof. A little bit. A little bit. But we still have a teensy bit carved out. Let's go ahead and sleep. Hare and Lark are playing. And when we wake up, we'll see if Lark is going to be putting on the weight. Come on, little guy. You can do it. We're so close. <laughs> There, good job guys. Look at our pups. I really hope all of them live to summer and then beyond so that we can see what they look like grown up. See, it's it's sad when you lose a pup when you have a big like family. And it's sad even if you had a small family, but I just really feel like we've had a chance to get to know everybody better by having just three of them to focus on for so long. It's been really sweet. But all right, guys, let's check on Lark. <gasps> He's done it! He's 15 pounds! Any second now, we're gonna be told that it's time to leave our flea-infested den and go to the summer hunting grounds. I am so freaking excited about that. <laughs> he might just need to like eat a little bit more, so we're almost there. But all right, you guys! If you guys could, do please leave a like for the fact that other than our wandering Lark, 
We are so close to being able to leave for the summer hunting grounds. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.